Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you are watching this video. You guys are probably wondering why I'm in my bathroom. Well, <laughs> been having a lot of issues lately, but I want to cover something that I use to clean my showers, my tile walls, because of the soap scum. My boyfriend uses bar soap, he uses body wash as well. And the soap scum tends to um, drip on only the back wall and like part of the, the side wall here. The shower's not that bad because I had just cleaned it days ago. But I try to keep the shower clean so I don't have to scrub. Because as some of you know, I do have autoimmune disorders. I can't really use a lot of energy or the next day I'm down and I can't move at all. So I try to do cleaning hacks that actually clean and take less time. A lot of you, many of you may know this trick. <clears throat> I found this trick out about six months ago when I thought I can't do this anymore. I cannot scrub this whole shower and tub down and then I'm done for the day because the bathroom, as you all know, or everybody knows, the bathroom is one of the worst rooms in the home to clean. I try to make it easy. I will show you what my hack is. I have it in a spray bottle here. I have some left from the last time. As you can tell, I used black marker all over this so I know it's. this is not what it's in here. This is not what's in here, you guys. I rinsed this water, I rinsed this bottle out really well a few months ago before I started doing this hack. Because what I used to do is I used to spray this stuff in my shower. I used to spray, I used to use the scrubbing bubbles. The scrubbing bubbles did a really fantastic job, but it never really cleaned most of the soap scum up and I would still have to scrub. So now what I do is I take what, what I do is I take two cups of uh, white vinegar and I boil it in the microwave. I keep it in there for about maybe almost two minutes, about a minute and a half, two minutes. And I pour it in here. And then I take just under a cup of Blue Dawn. Don't use any other Dawn. you got to use the Blue Dawn. You pour it in here and you want to swirl it around like that. Don't don't put the lid on because that will make the bottle um, scrunch in and it takes all the air out of it. You just want to just swirl it around for a minute. Give it time to settle and mix very well. And then you take the cleaner. Now, what I'm, I'm going to show you this back wall. I'm going to show you the soap scum and I'm going to spray this cleaning solution on here. And I'm going to show you how spraying it on this wall will pretty much eat through the soap scum and I don't just I don't just spray it with that and then spray it with water because that ain't gonna take it all off this this does eat it though what I do is after I spray this on the wall and let it sit for about 15 20 minutes I will then take my white rag I will put hot water on it and I will wipe the wall down and then I'll spray it. And I'm telling you, you guys, it is amazing how fast I can get this shower cleaned with no time at all and no muscle power. And I feel good enough to clean something else because I I just can't do it. Um, I cannot work an eight-hour shift. I, it's impossible for me to. Um, I'm going through um, a disability case right now. To get social security disability and I'm hoping that it goes through because if it doesn't I don't know what I'm gonna do I really don't because I can't work an eight-hour shift the most I can be on my feet is about two two and a half hours and nobody's gonna hire somebody that can be on their feet for two two and a half hours because of my joint pain and my muscle pain I just can't do it you guys so I'm gonna show you some of my cleaning hacks and this is gonna be my first one that I show and I want to show you how well it works. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to see if I can turn it around right now. Oh, great. 
don't look at my sink. Everything pretty much that was in my shower is in there. Um, this, as you guys can tell, it is full of soap scum. This is only not even a week full of soap scum. I'm not kidding you. But you guys can see on the wall all the soap. Let me come down here. It's worse down here. Right right in there. You guys can see the scum. All the scum. <clears throat> and then my chrome or stainless steel, whatever this is, it's metal, you know. Um, when I spray the vinegar and Dawn solution on here, it cleans it really well. And the vinegar, what does, what the vinegar does, it reacts to, um, we have hard water in this house. And right around in here, we get like this, I don't think there's any on here because I just sprayed it this morning. We get like these, um, this metal. It's, it's the, you know, it's the calcium or lime deposits. And when I spray this down, it all comes out of these grooves. Not all of it, but most of it does. And as you guys can see, I mean, it looks pretty good right now. But that's not to say that it can look any better, you guys. It really can. So, let me get up. It's hard for me to move today because yesterday I did a lot of cleaning and I thought today I can't clean, but I thought the bathroom is really the last room to do. I might as well get it done before the weekend. So, I have time to spend with my boyfriend and then we got to go to his mom's house because she's getting out of the hospital today. I'm probably going to be the one that's going to go pick her up. I don't know, but I'm going to take everything sorry you guys, off this corner here, and I'm going to, first I want to spray it down with water, because water helps react with the solution that I'm spraying, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, and i got to get that nasty hair, oof, off, the, ugh, I, you guys, I hate wet hair, it just, it's so nauseating, it really is, <laughs> Dirt, I don't mind, but hair, oh my God. I always, I always, always tell Jason when he shaves, because um, he shaves, he wet shaves, he uses the razor and that. I'm like, don't ever leave hair in the sink. Do not ever put hair in the toilet. <laughs> because we're having toilet issues right now, you guys. And do please just clean up, clean up your hair mess, because I can't stand hair in the tub. I can't stand hair in the sink. It, it just grosses me out. So, but I'm not a clean freak or anything. Trust me, I'm not a clean freak, you guys. I just don't like hair. And he smokes in this bathroom, and I'm, I'm going to show you another trick if I can find some nicotine on the wall, which I probably won't because since I told him that I do not like him smoking in here, I don't think he smokes in here as much anymore, or he hides it. I don't know. Maybe he wipes things down. I don't know, but I'm not finding a lot of nicotine in the grout like I used to. Okay, you guys, so let's get on this. Instead of rambling on all day, I'm going to get this video made and show you guys how this works. Okay, so where all of that soap scum is, first I want to spray. I don't think I'm going to have enough cleaner here because I don't have much cleaner in the bottle, but I want to spray everything down. I mean, this thing is nasty. I don't like to use a lot of bleach, you guys. I just found out that I'm very, very, very sensitive to bleach about a few months ago. So, I'm trying not to use bleach anymore. And this, this has been here forever. It's just, somebody must have put the shower together and they got grout or something all over that. I don't know. But, I know you guys, in my previous channel, that... Somebody hacked and deleted everything. I used to do a lot of videos in here on my hair. And you guys know this bathroom very well. But. Okay, so. Again, you guys, like I said, this is the Dawn Vinegar Solution. I'm just spraying everything down really good. And my left hand is getting tired. 
I have, I found out back a couple months ago that I have carpal tunnel. So, that's another thing that really bothers me. These, I'm just going to spray, I'm going to spray that little thing down with that. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take this with the other hand now, and I'm going to use my right hand. I want to see if I can find any nicotine in my grout. Sorry, you guys. I use a lot of shampoo, and there are my dogs. Hey, shush. I just dropped the bottle, that's all. They bark at the world. They bark at everything. Um... See, like right there, that looks like the only nicotine that I am finding. I all all of my all of my grout is white, you guys. It is all white. But like I said, I see some nicotine right in here, all in here, and this is what's not over the tub. So maybe the last time when I sprayed my walls down, I didn't spray them the best. But I want to show you this, you guys. I seriously. Let me grab my cleaner. Okay. I'm going to spray that part down right there where it's got the nicotine on it. Now, you guys, this is going to look orange. Simply because of the fact that when it gets wet, it is. It's orange. It's nicotine. And I think I'm running out of my cleaner. Hopefully, I can get enough on here to eat through the nicotine. There we go. And I'm not worrying about it dripping onto the floor because I have tile floor. So I want to see. Oh my God. I want to show you guys how Dawn and Vinegar eat through the nicotine. I want to leave this on here a few minutes and then I'm going to come back. Oh, there we go. I'm using my other hand. But you guys can see all that. Isn't that disgusting? That's why I tell Jason, please don't smoke in the bathroom. And please do not. Hold on, you guys. I tell them, please do not smoke in the bathroom. And especially if you're going to smoke in the bathroom, please, please, for the love of God, do not put your cigarette butts down the toilet. Because I know he does that. Because when he comes out, he's got no cigarette butt. And it's never in the trash bucket. Um, all he's got to do is just pour it under some water and then throw it in the trash bucket. Do not pour it. Do, do not put it in the, the toilet. Because cigarette butts are non-biodegradable. They are not toilet paper. Nothing, nothing should go down your toilet except for toilet paper and when you go to the bathroom nothing I don't put tissues nothing I I'm really particular about that you guys because growing up when I was a kid um our um I'm gonna come into the kitchen here and get some light kitchen's a mess it was clean yesterday but um when I was a kid our toilet we only had one bathroom in our house with the six of us my mom my dad my two sisters me and my brother we only had one bathroom, and, well, mainly uh, back then, a lot of people only had one bathroom. It's not like today where each house has a bathroom and a half to two bathrooms anymore. So anyways, our toilet always plugged up and everything, and my mom's like, go use the neighbor's toilet, and I'm like, I was always weird about using somebody else's toilet, you guys. I'm like, that's disgusting. I want to use my own toilet, and why the heck? Oh, it's just the color of the wood. I thought that was nicotine. I'm like, I just cleaned all that. But anyway, you guys, um, when it comes to toilets, <laughs> I don't like, I don't mind cleaning a toilet. I found the easiest way to clean a toilet without, again, having to use too many chemicals and um, to get the um, hard water, because we, like I said, you guys, we have hard water. To get the hard water stains out of the toilet, where the holes are underneath the rim. I just cleaned this toilet this morning. I, w <laughs> I went to bed last night at 10 o'clock, and I came down to go to the bathroom. 
and the toilet was backing up again. It doesn't back up out of the toilet. It comes all the way up to the rim, and then when it goes down, it goes down really slowly. And I found a cleaning hack on YouTube back a while ago, and you guys, I'm going to sit down. I found a cleaning hack on YouTube back a while ago, and it was um, to pour, not, not boiling hot, but to pour um, a gallon or a couple gallons of hot water down your toilet to let it flush. And sometimes it opens up if there's any kind of um, particles or anything down there. It flushes it out a little easier, the heat. And and then I found another one where you um, pour the hot water down with um, some dish detergent, any kind of dish detergent, but I used the Blue Dawn because that's what I have. So what I did is I put about a quarter cup of Blue Dawn and I pour it in, into the toilet. I'm not going to show you guys my toilet. I mean, it's clean. But um, I pour it into the bottom of the toilet, not in the tank, not in the tank, into the bottom of the toilet, and I let it sit there for a good 20 minutes, half hour. Then I'll come in, and I'll take my big red bucket, which is about four gallons, and I fill that with hot water, not, like I said, not boiling, not steaming hot, but hot water, and I'll pour it down there, and I let it work its way through. It's almost like a Drano, but you're using dish soap. It, it lubricates everything to go through. And last night, for some reason, it was not working. It would not go down fast like normally. So I'm like, oh, I do not want to call a plumber. I'm going to fix this thing. I'm going on YouTube. <laughs> so anyways, um, I found something. And I, you know, I was cleaning the toilet let this morning. And I was using the brush, you know, to swirl around and the medical the metal particles that come around the edge there by the holes and I'm like what breaks up calcium and ox you know or not ox um what breaks up calcium and lime and all the metals so I thought ding 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 um I'll put vinegar in the tank well then I found out you don't put it in the tank because what's in the tank goes in to the toilet the next time that little tube with that, that's got the holes in it, that in the back of the toilet, it's got the holes that goes there. You fill that up with um, two cups of warm vinegar and let it sit for two hours. So I did that, and what it does is it goes down in the top rim of your toilet where the holes are. There are um, copper or um, there's pipes in there, and they've got to be getting... Um, like metal in them and you know it's it's not breaking up because and it's going slowly so I did that I came back in here two hours later I flushed the toilet and woof everything went down everything's been fine since so I'm hoping the toilet is fixed for now because I do not want to have to pay a plumber for something that I can do for like pennies pennies you guys pennies and I'm telling you guys vinegar is one of the number one cleaners I'm telling you so it's been what I don't know um oh my gosh sorry 18 minutes <laughs> I'm telling you these girls are gonna bark again let, let me turn this around and I will show you what the walls look like with the vinegar and the soap solution on it so let me move this curtain oh my god I'm making a mess in here you guys so you can see that, the, you know, the soap scum is still on there, but the soap has been activated. You can see it's in the grout. Now, I'm just going to run my handy-dandy little butt right here. I'm going to grab myself a whitewash cloth. I got many of these things. I went and bought a bunch of them at Meyer um, about a month ago because of all the cleaning that I've been doing. So I'm going to use some hot water and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wipe this you guys just lightly is all you need to do don't really need to put too much power into it as you can see it's soaping up all the soap I'm gonna wipe a 
the metal down. <coughs> Sorry, you guys, for the cough, but <coughs> I've been coughing since December, and it's not going away. So let me... You guys, I'm not going to show you all the cleaning. I just want to show you how vinegar and Dawn works. Okay, so let's put this over here. Now I'm going to turn. What I love, you guys, is we have this long hose, this long shower hose. And what's nice about this is when I give my dogs a bath, I don't have to have a cup. Now I use steaming hot water and I rinse, rinse it down. You guys, I'm going to rewash this because the soap's coming so bad. I'm going to, when I come in here to do the full clean, I'm going to spray that down again because it's just nasty. But you just want to make sure, don't, don't mind if you get water on the floor, especially if it's tile. Because it ain't gonna make it. It ain't gonna make it bad. Actually, it's just gonna clean that floor just a little more. <laughs> Sometimes, if the soap scum is too bad, do a second. Do a second um, cleaning on it, you guys. Spray it down a second time. I'm telling you, it'll work. Spray down the metal. Really good. Yeah, I'm going to put this on soft so it's not strong. This button right here, it, it turns the water down. That is so, so, so nice. But I'm not going to spray the other wall down because it's so close to the edge of the tub. I'm going to make a mess with water. See all my mess? <laughs> See, I haven't taken anything out of the shower yet because I wanted to show you guys. And I didn't want to have a mess on the floor. So let me take this red and see where, whoops, sorry you guys. All this is at, you guys, for future reference, please don't smoke in your bathroom. And if you're gonna smoke in your bathroom, at least wipe the walls down. You know, keep a bottle of vinegar or something in your bathroom to eat through that nicotine that is on the wall because I'm telling you it's it'll work it'll really really work so it's still gonna be orange because it's wet but once this dries once it dries you guys it's going to turn white I wish I could do like um a speed up of this video but I still haven't figured it out on the vlog it and that's what I use I use vlog it to upload my videos but as you guys can tell see that that's just wet because like that over there is it's just a little orange huh I wonder if that is orange from the nicotine you guys I am so sorry that it's taking me so long to make this video but I wanted to show you all my cleaning hacks but notice you guys notice how this is drying <laughs> I'm trying to dry it with my hand and it's not as orange as it was where the nicotine lies in this broom is these blinds I've taken these blinds, the whole system, I took the whole blind system down about a month ago and I stuck it in this tub with bleach. Pure bleach with um, water. Water and bleach, that's it. And I'm telling you, you guys, it cleaned everything, even this string. This, these things were so orange and yellow and now they're white again. And this up here, I gotta wipe this down. That's nicotine. Let me get it focused. This is all nicotine that you see on here. Yes, it is, people. That is nicotine. It, it, it makes, 
it irritates me. It makes me mad that people smoke in the house. I smoke in the house. I can't condemn anybody that does. But I used to smoke outside when I used to smoke, um, you know, at other people's house. I've never smoked inside the house. But when I moved in with Jason, um, he smoked in, in the house. So I was like, well, so, and then yesterday we have an air purifier. We have an air purifier up in our bedroom. And I cleaned that thing yesterday and I got to get a new filter for it because um, it's bad. It's orange. The filter was orange and I clean that all the time. And I've cleaned the filter, the actual filter, um, a couple times, but it's uncleanable anymore, you guys. I can't clean any more of it because simple fact is it's just going to fall apart and I don't want to do that. So, But I'm just wiping this wall again and now I'm going to show you guys how... All of the soap scum is gone. Oh my God. I can wipe my hands on here and not feel that yucky, that yuckiness. <laughs> so let me show As you guys can see, this wall is clean with no soap scum. And look at how shiny that metal is, you guys. Look at how shiny that metal is. There's still soap scum right there because I haven't really wiped it down that well. But you guys, yeah, this is the best way to get rid of soap scum or tobacco or whatever other gross things you may find in the house. So you guys, if you enjoyed this video on my cleaning hack, um, just, <laughs> you guys, I don't make videos like this. Okay, let's try this again. If you enjoyed this video on my cleaning hack, give it a thumbs up share and if you guys aren't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you guys want any other kind of cleaning hacks with vinegar or whatever nothing with bleach please nothing with bleach because I'm it it hurts me you guys um I'm very sensitive to it and I think I'm allergic to it so I will see you guys in my next video and I can show you if my toilet backs up again I can show you that I can show you anything what I clean and just let me know. See you guys in my next video. Bye.